Good morning everyone, welcome to our TLE 7 class, quarter 2 week 1. Today we are going to discuss career and business opportunities in agriculture. Agricultural arts comprises plants like vegetable, crop and tree, and animals like swine, poultry, livestock raising, and fish production. And before we proceed with our lesson let us first watch this video. One, what could be the causes behind these agricultural issues? Two, which government and non-government sectors are responsible for these agricultural challenges? Three, what measures may be taken to address these issues? This time, we are going to explore some exciting opportunities in various sectors of the agricultural industry. As many of you know, agriculture is not just about farming anymore. It encompasses a wide range of fields, including agritourism or farm tourism, agricultural trade industry, innovation and technology in food industry, agribusinesses, dairy industry and the modernization of livestock and poultry industries. Now, I asked each of you to find a news article related to one of the topics in agriculture, and I'm eager to hear what you've discovered. As you present, please share the main points of your article, the opportunities it discusses, and any personal insights or questions you may have after reading it. Now, let's start with Joanna de la Cruz. Thank you. I found an article about agritourism titled, Agri-Tourism Eyed to Boost Income of Small Farmers. It discusses how farms are adapting to attract tourists by offering activities like farm-to-table dinners, pick-your-own fruit opportunities, and educational farm tours. This not only provides a new revenue stream for farmers but also promotes local agriculture. The article emphasizes the importance of creating unique experiences to draw visitors. That sounds fascinating. Agritourism definitely brings something special to both the community and the farmers. Now here are the different types of agriculture jobs or careers. 1. Administrative jobs. It involves performing administrative roles that support workers in the agriculture industry. Two. Engineering jobs. It involve using high-level science and math to solve complex problems. Professionals, evaluate, design, test and install agricultural equipment and systems. 3. Labor jobs. It require workers to perform manual tasks such as planting, harvesting, caring for animals and maintaining equipment. 4. Sales jobs. These are performed by professionals who are responsible for selling materials and products to customers. 5. Science jobs are those of scientists who work in agriculture and specialize in crops, livestock or food production. Now here are the individuals involved in agricultural jobs. 1. Farm workers. They perform essential manual labor tasks under the supervision of farmers and ranchers. They harvest or inspect crops, assist in watering the plants, applying fertilizer and pesticides to control weeds and insects. Two. Growers. They are responsible for taking care and raising crops that involves proper management of the growing plants and its environment to keep the crops, plants healthy. 3. Grain Elevator. They are operators who assist in maintaining essential quality standards of grains by properly storing, shipping and purchasing grains. They receive incoming grain deliveries, store the grain safely and they may assist in preparing outgoing shipments, drying grain and blending different grain types. 4. Agricultural Equipment Technicians. They maintain, install and repair machines and implements. They perform preventive maintenance, which may involve refueling machines, replacing batteries, changing the oil and lubricating moving parts. When they detect a malfunctioning equipment, they perform diagnostic tests and conduct necessary repairs. 
5. Purchasing agents. They are responsible for buying agricultural products and raw materials at wholesale for processing and reuse. These professionals often have to meet specific purchasing quotas for processors. They work with several farming clients, who serve as suppliers of grain, milk and other agricultural products. 6. Farm Warehouse Managers. They are responsible for overseeing all activities related to storing, shipping and receiving agricultural materials. They send and receive shipments, including loading and unloading products and materials. 7. Agriculture Specialists. They perform administrative support and clerical tasks that focus on a certain aspect of farming. Some agriculture specialists focus on storage, which requires them to work with farmers to develop high-performing crop and grain storage and inventory systems. 8. Sales Representatives. They sell materials and products to businesses and government agencies. They seek out prospective customers by attending trade shows, reviewing customer lists and following leads from existing clients. They determine customers' needs, explain how their products meet clients' needs and create packages that meet customers' budgetary and timeline needs. 9. Crop Managers. They oversee the many steps in the crop production process. They supervise seed sourcing, planting processes and scheduling as well as fertilizing, irrigation and harvesting. 10. Environmental Engineers. They use science and engineering principles to design and apply solutions to problems that occur on agricultural sites. They assess environmental conditions, including testing soil and analyzing drainage capabilities, and develop improvements. 11. Feed Mill Managers. They supervise the production and storage of animal feed. They are responsible for monitoring inventory levels, scheduling feed production and inspecting the quality of the grain. These professionals set and maintain quality standards, assess and improve operating procedures and track customer complaints. 12. Research Scientists. They specialize in agriculture and often work as food scientists. They research and develop processes for manufacturing, storing and packaging food. They are responsible for developing or improving products, but some specialize in detecting contaminants or administering government regulations. I have some exciting news to share with you all. The Department of Agriculture is organizing a job fair aimed at recruiting young professionals and K-12 graduates for various agricultural jobs. This is a fantastic opportunity for those of you interested in pursuing a career in agriculture, whether you're looking to gain experience, learn more about the field, or even secure a job right after graduation. To help promote this job fair, we're going to have a fun and creative task. Each of you will be preparing job hiring posters that will highlight the opportunities available at the job fair. This is your chance to show off your creativity and share important information with your peers. You can use digital tools like Canva, PowerPoint, or MS Word to create your posters, or if you prefer, you can go the traditional route with art materials. Feel free to choose the method that best fits your style. Make sure your posters are eye-catching and informative. Here are some examples to inspire you. You'll have some time in class to work on this, and be prepared to display your posters for everyone to see. I can't wait to see what you all come up with. Good day everyone. Welcome to our TLE 7 class, quarter 2, week 1, lesson 2. Today, we are going to differentiate agricultural tools, implements, and equipment, and identify different tools and equipment used in agriculture. But before we proceed with our lesson, let us have a mind map activity. I want you to think about the following terms associated with them. Are you ready? The first term is agricultural tools. So what are the terms associated with agricultural tools? Yes, very good, we can have cultivation. It is the process of preparing and using land for growing crops. Next, very good, we can have tillage. It is the agricultural preparation of soil by mechanical agitation which is often done using tools like plows. Next we can have hand tools. These are simple tools that are operated manually, such as hoes and shovels. Next, very good we can have power tools. These are mechanized equipment that aids in agricultural processes, like tractors and seeders. Next, very good we can have fertilization. It is the addition of nutrients to soil, often requiring specific tools for application. 
Next, very good we can have harvesting. It is the process of gathering mature crops from the fields, often using specific tools. Next, very good we can have safety gears. These are protective equipments used while operating agricultural tools, such as gloves and goggles. Now, in this section, it is important to determine the uses and functions of various agricultural tools, implements, and equipment in cultivating crops, as well as their differences. Now, how do you differentiate agricultural tools, implements, and equipment from each other? And which of these agricultural tools, implements, and equipment are familiar to you? Have you used them already? And how and when do we properly use them? Now, let us identify the following tools, implements, or equipment by looking at the video and their corresponding functions. This is used in digging holes, and removing stones, and tree stumps. Yes, very good it is a crowbar. Next, this is used for removing trash, digging soil, transferring soil and mixing soil media. Yes, very good it is a shovel. Next, this is used for tilling, making furrows, and inter-row cultivation. Yes, very good, it is a plow. Next, this is used to draw water from a source to irrigate the field. Yes, very good it is a water pump. Next, this is used by preparing the field to plow and harrow before planting. Yes, very good it is a hand tractor. In the following video, shows an agricultural tools, implements and equipments. Can you name them? Which of these are classified as tools, implements, or equipment? Have you tried using them in your respective backyards or fields? When using them, what should you bear in mind? Now, agricultural tools are commonly light and handy that are needed in accomplishing farm activities. For digging tools, we have crowbar. It is used for digging holes and digging out stones and tree stumps. Next, we have pick mattock or mattock. Is is used for digging canals, breaking hard top soils, digging up stones and tree stumps. Next, we have grab hoe or asarol. It is used for breaking hard top soil and pulverizing soil. Next, we have spade. It is used for removing trash or soil, digging ditches, and mixing soil media. Next, we have shovel or pala. It is used for removing trash, digging loose soil, transferring soil, and mixing soil media. Then, we have the cutting tools. First, we have bolo or itac. It is used for cutting weeds, bamboo poles and pegs for construction and trellis. Next, we have pruning shear. It is used for cutting branches of planting materials and unnecessary branches of plants. Next, we have axe is is used for cutting trunks or branches of trees and bigger posts. Next, we have knives. These are used for cutting planting materials, harvesting, and performing other farm activities. And for the harvesting tools. First, we have harvesting knives or scissors, or pruning shears. These are used for harvesting vegetable crops. And for the harvesting tools. First, we have harvesting knives or scissors, or pruning shears. These are used for harvesting vegetable crops. Next, we have scythe or carrot. It is used for harvesting rice and for cutting grasses for animal feeds. Next, we have bolo or itac. It is also used for harvesting crops. And for cultivating tools. First, we have light hoe. It is used for loosening, leveling, and digging out furrows for planting. Next, we have hand trowel. It is used for cultivating soil around the plants and setting small amounts of manure and compost in the soil. Next, we have hand fork. It is used for loosening the soil in between rows of plants. Next, we have hand cultivator or pangbakulkul. It is used for cultivating the garden plot to loosen and remove weeds around the plant. Next, we have rake. 
It is used for cleaning the ground and leveling the topsoil. And for the carpentry tools. First, we have hammer or martilio. It is used to draw, remove, and drive nails. Next, we have cross-cut saw. It is used to cut wood, construct compost piles, and fix vicinity fences. Next, we have pliers. These are used for repairing tools and other carpentry work. Next, we have screwdrivers. These are used to tighten and loosen knots and bolts. Next, we have chisel. It is used to smooth the wooden handles of garden tools and implements. And for the measuring tools. First, we have weighing balance. It is used for weighing harvests and agricultural inputs such as fertilizers. Next, we have meter stick. It is used for measuring garden plots and height of plants. Next, we have tape measure. It is used for measuring the distance of planting and layouting. Next, we have ruler. It is used for measuring the height of the seedlings or plants. And for the other agricultural tools. First, we have knapsack sprayer. It is used for applying pesticides and foliar fertilizers. Next, we have trigger sprayer. It is used for applying pesticides in seed boxes, seed trays or seed beds. Next, we have sprinkler. It is used for watering seedlings and other plants. Next, we have crates. These are used for carrying harvests from farm to market. Next, we have seed trays. It served as containers for raising or growing seedlings. Next, we have seed boxes. Like seed trays, it serves as containers for raising or growing seedlings. Next, we have pails. It is used for hauling water, manure, and fertilizers. Now, let's go on to the farm implements. So farm implements are usually made of metals. They serve as accessories by draft animals or mounted on machineries needed for the land preparation. First, we have plow. It is used for tilling wide areas, making furrows, and inter-row cultivation. This is pulled by draft animals or mounted to a tractor. It is made of metal, wood, and or combination of both. Next, we have harrow. It is used for pulverizing the soil after plowing. It is pulled by draft animals or mounted to a tractor. Next, we have rotivator. It is a modern harrow used for pulverizing the soils which is usually mounted to a tractor. And for the farm equipment. These are machineries that are used for land preparation and transportation of farm inputs and products. It requires highly skilled operator to properly perform their respective uses. Next, we have hand tractor. It is a versatile agricultural machine used for land preparation. Then, we have four-wheel tractor. It is used to pull a disc plow and disc harrow in land preparation of a bigger area of land. Next, we have water pump. It is used to draw water from a source for irrigating the field. Next, we have axial thresher. It helps separate seeds from the stalks. Next, we have combine harvester. It has six combine operations such as gathering, transporting, reaping, threshing, cleaning, and bagging crops. Next, we have seeder. It is used for sowing corn seeds and rice seedlings or pre-germinated seeds directly in the paddy field. Next, we have corn dehusker. It is used for peeling the skin of the corn and for removing maize from the cob. Next, we have rice miller. It is used to remove the husk and the bran layers to produce an edible white rice.